Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you've been following me for a while, you knew or you know, my kitchen used to be a bright colored red. And we went, right after the holidays, we had some um, um, damage that was done because of a storm that was done late summer and finally got it all repainted and refreshed in the kitchen. Now there's a lot of things I still wanna do to my kitchen. For example, I wanna replace my microwave and refrigerator, but right now it's not in the budget. It's a little mismatch with my dishwasher and stove that I currently have. It's that stainless steel, that brushed nickel, and the refrigerator and the microwave are bright white. So those obviously don't go together at all, but, and then there's some little things like window treatments I'm trying to figure out. And other than that, I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I have some regrouting to do in some of the grout and the tile, and that's it. I spent a pretty fortune on my cabinetry and my counters, and I just can't see painting them or redoing them. I might reseal them or recaulk them, my granite countertops, but that is about it. So, anywho, I decorated with five things in my home just to kind of give it a refresh, um, a revisit. And I did it very inexpensively with thrifted items, garage sale items, and I did it with that farmhouse inspired feel. I just basically want to live more simple, keep my kitchen very simple as far as everything on the outside of my kitchen like to decorate, and then everything in the inside as far as like what I store items in, cooking supplies, baking dishes and things like that. I'm just trying to keep it minimal. So with that being said, let me turn this camera around, show you five ways I decorated my kitchen with thrift finds on a dime, and I have that farmhouse inspired look for you. All right, one of the ways that I decorated um, my kitchen is I just wanted to incorporate a little bit more greenery, but make it make sense to our needs of our family. I love using a lot of herbs and different things like that, and I just couldn't see spending money on them week after week to cook. So I basically got these two macaray plant hangers. I did get those through Amazon. They're very affordable. And the pots I actually thrifted from Goodwill. And this is just a basil plant right here. And then right here is an oregano plant. And that is pretty much it. One of my DIY candles right there. This little heart was actually a find that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance because it was supposed to be a Christmas tree wreath. So I just thought it was really cute. And I did want to show you guys this. This isn't a thrifted find or on the dime kind of sign right here but I just love it. I did get it through Hobby Lobby and it was very affordable and it was right after Christmas when they had a lot of signs on sale. So I just thought it was cute, 40% off. It was just adorable for my kitchen. And that is my number one tip, decorating with herbs and greenery in your kitchen to give it that farmhouse feel. The next thing I uh, like to decorate with is anything crack or looks like a crack or anything like this. This crack I actually picked up at a garage sale very inexpensively. I think these run for about $60 or $75 on Amazon, but I got it for half the cost. And basically my sister had a baby shower and I stuck the foliage in it just to give it a little pop of greenery. At Christmas I used this crack and put a little Christmas tree that I picked up at um, Walmart and decorate it with twinkling lights. So you can pretty much do anything with this crack. And I'm going to show you a couple other ways that I use my other cracks that I found. And you can get cracks at flea markets, at flea fairs, at secondhand shops. You just got to be your eyes open. I actually saw a bunch this past weekend at a state sale. They were in different colors. None of them worked for what I needed, but I did see a bunch of them at an estate sale for very affordable. Here is another crack that I found at the Salvation Army. And this is basically housing a lot of my wooden spoons that I picked up at either garage sales or secondhand shops and rolling pins. I think there might be one or two that I bought out of my pocket at a physical store. But other than that, I have the Simply on my counter and it has all of my rolling pins and wooden spoons. 
And here is another crack that I found. This actually had a weird funky decal on the front and I basically used a little bit of paint thinner and scrubbed it off. It took a little bit of elbow grease to do it, but I got this literally, I think at Goodwill, I paid like a dollar 99 cents or something crazy like that. And I use it to put all my brushes, my cleaning brushes, my straw cleaning brushes and things like that in there. And I think it looks cute. It's easy to clean and it was, very affordable and like I said it w had a little sign you could probably see some of the the scratched off scuff marks but I think it still looks pretty cool the next thing I wanted to share with you is baskets or anything with natural textures I love decorating with them and I think they're really nice and they warm up the space this rug was not uh, thrifted fine it was very inexpensive over at Amazon but I am going to show you something that brings in those natural elements and it was a thrifted find so I think this rug I was really worried that it wouldn't hold up because I have two Labradors with very long nails and so far so good and when I give it a good shake I get a lot of dust on it so I kind of like that that it doesn't really seep in and get all the hair out and dust out very easily so here is the thrifted basket I found this was like a few bucks I think it was like three or four ninety nine at the Salvation Army and in there it's on top of my pantry inside there houses all of my baking sheets and muffin tins and things I don't use on a regular basis and I think it's it looks cute up there I think it looks nice and it brings in that natural element all right, so I had to get up on a ladder for this one. These are my pride and joy. I found these three thrifted ironstone plates at various, well, you know what, to be honest, they were like at antique festivals and antique fairs, and I picked them up at different ones, and I got them for like a few bucks each. So this is an ironstone plate, and if you look over here, and I don't know if you can really tell because I'm quite far um, from the ground, but I'm on a ladder right now. They're very similar in in style, and I got them both the same day. So I was at two different fairs um, that they had in Grand Haven, and I'm gonna get a little closer view, and they look very similar. This blue and white one, I believe this wasn't at a fair. This was actually at an antique store. And I saw it and I loved it and of course I picked it up. And I think it gives like that nice like farmhouse feel and it gives a little pop of color and a little bit of texture because it gives that dimension with the plates, that white on white. So I really, really, really like that. And I think decorating with plates is now my new favorite and you'll probably see more of it in the future. Guys, I wanted to show you in here, if you've been following me, I used to house all of our wine glasses, martini glasses, and different glasses like that. We have since done away with drinking martinis and drinking as much. I mean, we do have an occasional glass of wine, an occasional mixed drink, and things like that, but we just didn't find the need to have so many glasses when we do very few entertaining with those glasses. And when we do, we usually just find it much easier to use plasticware because it's usually a lot of times in the summer because our house is not quite large. I did find most of these things at secondhand stores. So I just wanted to show you a few things. This I found at a secondhand store and it had a funky decal on the front that I used paint thinner and a sander to get off. And this cute little teacup was from Salvation Army, something like that. And this was in Grand Haven too at one of the shops. This is a little, um, I don't even know, a little, uh, I think it housed popcorn in it, and I just thought it was cute and pretty, and it gives some height and some texture. And then, of course, all of my three ironstone pitchers are thrifted finds. The china in the back is actually china from my wedding, so I added those in there. And this blue bowl was a gift from my sister, and I believe she got that at a secondhand store or an antique shop, so I'm not quite sure. But I just thought it was really pretty in this space and it kind of you know makes me happy and makes me smile so and I'm not sure if I'm always going to keep it this way because I do collect a lot of milk um milk glass so I may even just change it out and use the milk glass I haven't I'm not sure but for right now I'm just keeping it all right so my last 
inexpensive way to decorate on a dime and given that farmhouse feel is to decorate with metals or anything that is patina. So the way I understand patina is basically a metal that has been painted and aged and it looks, you know, has that chippy paint or that discoloration of the metals and gives it that age look. And so this star was actually a red star and I had it at the same spot when my kitchen was a bright red. And I decided to, I was gonna paint it white and I went back and forth with it and repainted it and took the paint off. And I decided just to take it down to its metal. And as you can see, it's very age looking. The color's already changing from like the oxygenization of, is oxygenization a word? The oxygen in the air and, um. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know, you tell me, let me know in the comments below. I I like it, I think it just gives that little farmhouse flair and taste to my kitchen that I love. So the same thing with this cross. This cross was red and I did paint it white. I did a po blog post on it. I loved how it looked with the white and I thought it looked pretty cool and whatnot, but then I kept thinking about it and kept thinking about it and I decided to bring it down to its original, original um, color, which is this tin color and I think it looks pretty cool. It's got kind of that black look around it in the corners and around the sides and it has that age look and I love it. So basically, putting bringing in metals would be my number five thing to make it that farmhouse flair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more decorating videos and how I decorate my home on a dime. And let me know what you think of the finds that I found and how I decorated my kitchen. I'd love to know. And if you don't want to miss any videos like me and you love what you see so far, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys real soon.